Okay, hey everybody, it's Steph Mischuk here with Kilo Science and Studio Web. In this V blog, I'm going to do a quick run through C panel, which is a very popular control panel used in a lot of web hosting situations. So you register a domain name, you set up your site, you buy some hosting, and your hosting company is going to send you access to C panel if they use it. And you see, when you buy hosting, they'll say C panel included or not. There's uh, other control panels out there. The two that I'm aware of is cPanel and Plesk, and there are others. Some are more complex, some are simpler. cPanel is very standard. A lot of people use it. So I'm just going to run through a bunch of basic functionalities just so you have a feel in terms of what cPanel is all about. This is not an exhaustive cPanel uh, tutorial. It's just here to give you an overview because somebody asked me to do one. So uh, enjoy. All right, so I've popped open C panel here, and here it is from top to bottom. Now, your version of C panel may look a little bit different in terms of the graphics, but the functionality is going to be exactly the same. So let's just start off at the top. So you see the files section here. It says uh, right here, files. So there's all kinds of capabilities here. The thing that you're going to be using the most is something called the file manager. So let me click on that. And what does the file manager do? This is the file manager. What it does essentially is it gives you a view of the directory that the web hosting company has given you. So this is the root of it right here. The root being the base of it. And where you would put your HTML documents, all your website files, whether it be HTML pages, CSS pages, JavaScript images, videos, whatnot, they would be all in public HTML, public HTML. So I click on that and it shows you the uh, few files that are in this particular uh, public HTML directory. Now what's CG, what's CGI bin? That is where we used to put our old uh, pro scripts, scripts that you could do things like to process pages and forms and so on. Back in the old CGI days, I'm not sure why they still keep this here. Um, I guess for people who are still running Perl. Now, Perl is one of the first languages used to create dynamic websites, to create web apps. It's a, This is a throwback to the 1990s. Most people, I don't believe, use CGI, CGI bin too much these days. So in this particular public HTML directory, I have an index page and an image called pet chart. Now, this is the file manager. The file manager allows you to do all kinds of different things. You can upload new files. You can download files. You can delete, copy, create new folders. So let me just create a new folder right here. Create a new folder. I'm going to call it images. Assuming I would keep an images folder like you would with most new websites. Now, this is not a beginner's web design tutorial. You can check those out. I have plenty of those. So I just created a folder in there. You can also create all kinds of things. You can create files, click file, create new file. So I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call it uh, contact.html. So I create new file. And here it is, here it is contact.html. Now, if you right click on that file, you can download it, you can view it, you can edit it, you can code edit it, you can HTML edit it, you can do all kinds of stuff. What's changing permissions? Changing permissions is something you would do when, for instance, if you're uploading a WordPress blog, and sometimes you're going to have to change permissions of certain files to enable the blog to function correctly. I won't get into this now because it's just an overview video, but if I clicked on HTML edit, it would ask me, okay, do you want to edit this? And I go, okay, uh, what is it? external assets may fail to load in browsers that blocked mixed HTTP and HTTPS content. Yeah, okay, whatever. Don't don't worry about this. This is getting more advanced into uh, advanced websites. You click edit and uh, look at this. cPanel gives you a full HTML editor so you can write in all kinds of text. I can make it, I can make it bold, underlined. It's kind of like, you know, anyway, you might use this, you might not. I'm just, uh, I'll save that here. And that's it. See, file saved down here. And I close that. And here is the uh, the file again. Contact. I'm going to click. I'm going to go view. So we view the file. And uh, there you go. Here's a, a view of it as in terms of code. Now, if you wanted to see this actual file live, you would navigate to your website. And you would do that. But that, again, is about a web design tutorial. So I'm not going to get into that. So I'm just going to close the file manager here. 
And that's one thing you can do. We have other things like you can set up FTP accounts. Now, what is an FTP? I'm just going to click on that. FTP is one of the ways in which you can move files from your computer to the server through something called FTP. FTP is called the File Transfer Protocol. This is kind of an old school way, and you have to have an FTP program on your own website to be able to do this. It's not on your own website, on your own computer. Most computers have it, Mac, Windows. And I'm not going to get into teaching you FTP, but you would set it up. You would have to set up the login name, the password, and uh, so on, where the files would be deposited right here, directory, right? So it's, um, I'll leave that to you to sort of look over if you wanted to. Now, if you want to really upload files, I would just go back to File Manager. And I'll just click the up, I would click where I want to go. Okay, I'm going to go in here, I go upload, right? And I can just drag and drop my files, and it tells me select the file you want to upload into public HTML. Remember, public HTML is where you put all your website files. So I want, if I want to drag images, video, or whatnot, I could just do that, just by you know clicking on an image, and just like you know, I could drag it a file right in here if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. So that's how I would upload my files now if I was putting up so simple websites. I wouldn't bother with FTP anymore. You don't need to. This is kind of powerful. So let me scroll down, databases, what's this? These are all the controls that you can set up in MySQL database on your server. Most hosting accounts these days, uh, just about all of them, they're gonna allow you to set up uh, a database. So how do you do that? Well, you would uh, go to My Databases, MySQL, MySQL database, and this loads, and then create a new ba database. So you can create a database. So I'm gonna call it uh, my database, I wanna have a database on fish, right? Go fish, there we go. Add a database, HTML nerve fish, go back. So why, if we scroll down here, here it is, HTML nerve fish. Why HTML nerve? Because that is the name of the cPanel account that was given to me. You don't have much of a choice there. So then it just add fish to it because I just said fish. So you've created your database. That's pretty cool. So now you got to add a user to the database. How does that work? So you got to create a new user. You got to give it a password. And then eventually you bind it to the database. So I'll just do that real quick. So I'm going to say username. I'm going to go HTML nurse Steph. I'm going to say my password is blah, 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 blah. It's going to be a very weak password because I'm just doing a demo. So I'm just going to create the user. Now you could generate a password here, which would be much stronger. But for the sake of this demo, I'm going to just do, uh, create a user like this. So you have successfully created the MySQL username HTML nerve underscore staff, right? HTML nerve underscore staff. So I go back, kind of clunky. So then down here, finally, you have to add your user to the database. You got database. Oh, here's the database. We only have one user, HTML nerve staff. We could create multiple users, by the way. I can go back, create another user. I won't do that. Then you got to select your database. Now we have two database, test and fish. So I'm going to go fish. I'm going to say add HTML nerve underscore staff to uh, fish. So I go add. So then it's going to ask me what kind of privileges. What is this all about privileges? Well, when you're creating a user, you have to say this user can do this to the database. So I'm just going to say you can do everything. And then I'm going to hit make changes. And there you have given the requested privileges to the database HTML nerve to the user, blah, blah, blah. So this guy is now bound to this. See, uh, the HTML nerve dude. Uh, HTML nurse Steph can now log into HTML fish and why do you do, why did I do all this because if you're creating like a WordPress app or a you're installing WordPress you're installing Joomla Drupal or many other apps you're going to need to do this you're going to need to create a database and you're going to need to bind that database to a user and we just created we just all did it with cPanel so let me go back home so there's much more you can do you can actually navigate your database with uh, PHP my admin go right in here Boom, PHP My Admin. What's PHP My Admin? Well, it's made with PHP. It's an app built with PHP that allows you to administrate MySQL databases. So here's, look at, here's that database, HTML Nerve, right? Here it is. Uh, that's the user HTML Nerve, rather. And here's the first database, the fish and the test. And then in here, you can create HTML tables and all kinds of stuff. Again, this is beyond the scope of this particular video because this is a video on cPanel. So I'm just going to close that. But now you know, just within cPanel in the databases section, you can create new databases, new users, and do all kinds of stuff. What are the domain stuff? I never use this, so you don't really need to use this most of the time. This has to do with uh, configuring your domain name for your site. But again, this is something I rarely ever use, so I'm not going to get into it. 
email. Well, you want to set up email accounts, right? There's all kinds of things you can do, right? You can set up how your server handles spam. You can set up a uh, forwarder. So let's say you have uh, three email addresses, but you want to route them all to one. So let's say you have uh, a shopping store, a shopping cart uh, site. You have a store, you're selling your bananas and your fish, and you want to have all your emails just go to your private email account. So let's say your name was Steph, and your uh, site was Steph uh, was bananas.com. So you go Steph at bananas.com as the email address. How do you do that? You, you go e email accounts. And you create an email account, whatever you want. Now, this is the HTML Nirvana site. So I could go uh, Stefan at HTML Nirvana. I put in a stupid password. Boom, boom, boom. I create the account and it would appear, right? Now, I'm not going to do it because, you know, it's pretty obvious. Now, you can set up a forwarder. So you can say um, you can forward all emails to, let's say you had an info at HTML Nirvana.com. You could forward them all to Stab Stefan. Sometimes you want to do forwarding, it's just there. And there's all kinds of other stuff you can do as well, but we'll skip that. So what are metrics? Metrics are basically your web stats. You're tracking how many people are visiting your site. Now you got all these different things you can look at. You can look at errors are being generated just in case people you know, are looking for pages that are not there, images. So it's a good way to keep your website up to date. I don't know if, I don't know if I'm speaking too quickly, but I'm just trying to get through things because I got a Suvlaki Pita on the way. So... Now, AW Stats. AW Stats is what I use. This is a very common stats program that tracks all your traffic on the site. Now, this site, I don't use at all, so there's not going to be any stats. So I'm just going to click on here. So then I choose for htmlnirvana.com, I view stats. And there, well, there's actually some traffic. I'm surprised because I hardly, this is not, there's nothing on the site except a, sh a picture of a shark. So it's kind of weird that I'm actually getting some stats. But, you know, you get unique visitors. Number of visits, number of page views. Um, I'm not going to explain all this. The, the most important thing when people look at when they're looking at sites is page views, pages. How many pages have been seen in a particular month? So you see in January, 59 pages from the site has been seen, which is amazing to me considering if I look at the site, HTML, uh, nirvana.com. And see, this is the site. I put this up as a demo. That's it. That's the whole site. So it's kind of weird, but people are actually visiting it. But uh, let's see. Let's go down. You got all kinds of information, like from what country people are visiting the site. I guess people are coming from the United States mostly. IP addresses from what IPs, right? Uh, if we scroll down more, you can even see the type of computers that are visiting your site. Mostly Windows, Linux. Well, wow. more Linux people than Macintosh. That's interesting. What browsers? Chrome, Firefox, BlackBerry. Wow. <laughs> Who uses a BlackBerry? Look at that. Even Google right here. Links from Internet Search Engine. Unbelievable. Google actually sent somebody to the site. And for some reason, Burger and Puria sent it. I don't know what that is. Probably a spammer. You get sometimes these weird reverse spammers coming in here. Anyway, that's enough for AW stats. So you got you got full stats in your C panel, which is kind of cool. Let's go down. Now you got security. Now, what is, what's SSH? This is a way of logging in through uh, a, text, uh, a text window. And uh, it's beyond the uh, scope of this particular video. But the advanced coders will actually do a lot of SSH to send up files from their home computers to uh, the server. It's safer, and once you understand what you know, how uh, to use SSH, it's actually quite fast. Let me scroll down. Ah, software. So now you see that you got all these different things installed into this server. PHP, the PHP parrot packages, which nobody uses any day, these days, so forget about this. This is kind of like PHP, uh, instant PHP scripts which you could use. Perl, well, there we go. Here's Perl. Remember I mentioned Perl and the CGI bin, the CGI directory? That's what this is all about. Hey, Ruby, for people who want to use Ruby, you can install Ruby. You got to know about your stuff. You got to know about Ruby and so on. So let me just jump into PHP because a lot of people will be using PHP because they're going to be doing WordPress. So I click and here it gives you a bunch of information about your PHP configuration, which is kind of cool. Um, again, I'm not going to get into this because you, you have to be somebody who's doing PHP to care about this, but that information is there for you. It's kind of basic, but nonetheless... Okay, what's advanced stuff? Okay, the only thing I'm going to talk about here is cron jobs. You can set up your server to run a particular script, to run a particular PHP page, for example, 
uh, on an interval. So you can say every day at two o'clock in the afternoon, have this PHP script do this or that or the other thing, like send an email or something. So that gives you that possibility there as well. Uh, preferences. Yeah, you can do all kinds of passwords, security, contact information, user manager. This is stuff I never use anyway. But that's it. That's pretty much an overview of um, the cPanel from the user's point of view. Sees how much disk space you use, uh, monthly bandwidth, how much bandwidth you transferred in a month. See, right now it's only transferred 1.18 megabytes, not much. Uh, where I logged into from what IP, this could be for good for security because if you log in and you, in, and you see an IP that you don't recognize, you may go, Who the, who's logging into my site here? So that's it. That's pretty much an overview of cPanel. I hope you found this useful and um, we'll talk soon.